The one thing that I love that she's bringing to her sport, more people want to watch. Wheeler finds Clark from the logo. When you hear the name Caitlin Clark, it's hard not to think of record-breaking moments. Recovered by Gabby Marshall. Here comes Clark. How will she go for history? There it is! But what really sets her apart? It's not just her scoring. It's not just her court vision. It's the fact that NBA legends, the ones who've been at the top of the game, are left speechless when they talk about her. And when the best in the world start explaining why she's on another level, you know it's something special. So what exactly do they have to say? Let's kick things off with a legend who knows all about shaking up the game, Allen Iverson. Iverson revolutionized basketball with his fearless style and undeniable skill. But even he sees something special in Clark. Iverson, who doesn't hand out praise lightly, has been vocal about his admiration for her during her NCAA games. In true AI fashion, he made it clear that Clark is on a path to redefine women's basketball. Shoot the blood out of the ball. You know what I mean? Like, um, I never seen anything. Like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, and then just how aggressive she is, you know, and not just scoring the basketball, getting her teammates involved as well. I think she's so great for the game. You know what I mean? It was a pleasure watching her, and I just think um, down the road, she's going to only get better. And then there's Shaquille O'Neal the four-time NBA champion who has seen his fair share of historic players. Before Caitlin even stepped foot into the WNBA, she was already making history, becoming the NCAA's all-time leading scorer, surpassing the legendary Kelsey Plum. And the moment she broke that record? A ridiculous long-range three from the logo in a game where Iowa dismantled Michigan. But Shaq sees beyond the stats, calling her the best female collegiate player ever. But she, but she, she's phenomenal. I, I'm going to go on the record and say she's the best female collegiate player ever. Yeah, I, I said what China. I said, ever. Diana Taurasi? I said what I no said. No is my opinion. Uh, Candace I'm not Walker? Walker? That's a, that's I'm a Candace Walker. Nobody's ever shot it like her. No, she, you. You know, she's like uh, Steph I said Curry. What I said. Yeah. Let that sink in for a moment. A player who dominated the Big Ten like no one before her, Caitlin Clark stands alone as the only player in NCAA Division I history, man or woman, to lead her conference in both scoring and assist for four straight seasons. Her resume is unreal. Big Ten's all-time leader in points and assists, a first-time All-Big Ten selection four years straight, and multiple Player of the Year awards. And then we've got Paul Pierce, a man who's never been shy about speaking his mind. After Caitlin's Elite Eight performance, Pierce had already taken notice, but it was her 41-point explosion against LSU that made him stand up and pay real attention. This wasn't just any game. It was the kind of showing that forces even the most seasoned legends to reconsider what they thought they knew. Pierce, known for his bold takes, didn't hold back when he talked about Clark, saying, It's beyond that, Key. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. We saw a white girl in Iowa do mm -hmm. it to a bunch of black girls. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. That, that made it like, oh, that gave my respect. I, I hear you. You're like, right. that's like, oh, she didn't do this to, to uh, some other little... White girls that was over mm -hmm. here, and she did it to some girls <laughs> from true. from LSU, yeah. who we did. thought was some dogs. Defending champs. Defending yeah. champs, mm -hmm. and put them on her knee and spanked them. Pierce wasn't just talking about Clark's skill. He was talking about the moment. The stage, the opponents, the pressure, and how Caitlin rose above it all. When someone as blunt as Pierce gives you that kind of respect, you know you're doing something next level. Now let's shift to another voice in the conversation, Kevin Durant. On his podcast, KD broke down exactly what makes Clark so dangerous. And trust me, if Durant is impressed with your skill set, you're doing something right. He described watching one of her games and being blown away by her speed and the way she seems to outpace everyone else on the court. Yeah, she's displaying some skill right now. Just like, and she moving fast. Like it looks yeah. like she don't look like it look like everybody on that court is way slower than her when yeah. she get into her stuff. Like, did you see all the highlights of the whole game? Yeah, so she pulled one three, like a leaning three. And you can just tell, like, everyone on court's not expecting her to shoot yet. Like, we're, we're trying to settle in our defense pool. Hey. And she coming she coming through the lane, crossing over to the legs, handle, pulling crazy up. Crazy footwork. Shooting, getting to the cup. When you've got players like KD dissecting your moves like that, it's no surprise Caitlin Clark is in a league of her own. Then there's Charles Barkley, who's seen it all and isn't one to dish out praise lightly. During a recent interview, Barkley zeroed in on her professionalism. 
In an age where media drama can easily overshadow the game, Clark remains laser focused, a trait Barkley clearly admires. Especially Kate, Caitlin. I mean, what she's done for the game the last couple of years, she is a, a shining star. And you know, the Dan, Dan, the thing I like about her, man, she doesn't say a word. Yeah, she's never said a word about anybody. She just shows up and does her job. That's high praise from a guy who knows a thing or two about the spotlight. Barkley sees in Clark someone who lets her game do all the talking, a rare quality that only adds to her growing legend. But it's not just the legends of yesteryear taking notice. LeBron James, the NBA's all-time leading scorer, has been vocal about how Clark is changing the landscape of women's basketball. On his podcast, Mind the Game, LeBron passionately spoke about the impact Clark is having on the league, and he didn't hold back. The one thing that I love that she's bringing to her sport, more people want to watch. More people want to tune in. I saw for the first time that they had, they had a chartered plane for the first time in their league history. You know, they flew private. That should be celebrated in its own right for anyone that's, you know, in sports that's flown commercial or flown, you know, charter. That should be celebrated. And it's because of Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it up. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. And when someone like LeBron James connects your name to the evolution of an entire sport, that's not just recognition. It's a sign of the game-changing power Clark holds. Next up, Kevin Garnett weighed in on the conversation. And when it comes to intensity and keeping it real, you know KG doesn't hold back. During an episode of his podcast, Garnett and Paul Pierce got into a fascinating debate. Could Caitlin Clark score in an NBA game if she played 30 minutes? And Garnett explained, If you ain't in a Steph Curry shape, that's how she plays, bro. Right. You I think she can give you 10 up? points in the NBA 10. game. Nah, she's going to give you more than 10. She can shoot. And she got work, bro. She ain't but no. But still, it's still, still the what? athleticism from the men is yeah, overwhelming. You gotta, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't tough no more. You can't, you can't hand check. And if you let a motherfucker wiggle, you feel me? Yeah. Man, she can, you're right. She can wiggle, bro. though, is good. I think nah, 10 bro, in the tripping, game. tripping, bro. You see where she shoot the ball from, bro? Where was she, what, a matter of fact, was she playing with a women's ball? Women's ball? A, nah, she playing with the NBA ball. She can get 10. She can still get money on that motherfucker. I, I think she care. can get 10. For Garnett to be so sure that Clark could hold her own at the NBA level speaks volumes about her game. It's not just talk. It's respect from one of the fiercest competitors the league has ever seen. And Garnett's not the only one drawing comparisons to NBA greatness. Isaiah Thomas, the legendary point guard and leader of the Detroit Pistons bad boys era, has an even bolder take. Thomas put her in the same conversation as NBA icon Steph Curry and WNBA sharpshooter Sabrina Ionescu. In fact, Thomas went a step further, suggesting Clark might be better. I'm going to say this. Neither one of them are the greatest shooters because right now, that Caitlin, that Caitlin Clark. Oh, and, you want to bring I, her in? I, I, that's who I want to see. Bring, bring Caitlin in and let her, let her shoot against both of them. That's who I want to see. Because 22 in Iowa, hey, she the real deal. That's who should be in this competition. But what really sets Clark apart isn't just her ability to hit deep shots. It's her fearlessness. Whether it's dropping over 30 points per game or dishing out assists with precision, she's always ready to take on any challenge. As the NCAA's all-time leading scorer, she didn't just put up numbers. She changed the game by creating opportunities for her teammates and elevating everyone around her. Of course, we can't talk about Caitlin Clark without mentioning someone who revolutionized the game with his shooting, Steph Curry. Curry, the man who changed how basketball is played at every level, sees something special in Clark that goes beyond just her ability to drain deep threes. In fact, he sees a reflection of his own game in her performances, and that's not a comparison he makes lightly. Curry expressed his admiration, saying, I mean, I've been watching from afar and understanding just how much of a power she is out there on the court. The cool part is which, the way that she plays and her range and the level of difficulty on her shots is obviously a very close comparison to the way that I play. I was going to say, Caitlin Clark's been compared to you. Yeah, but I think it almost robs her of like the rest of her game. Her shooting ability is, you know, it's her superpower, but right. the rest of her game is as polished as that. And so it's must-see TV. And right. I love what it is done for, you know, women's basketball in terms of when she shows up, you know, the seats are filled and there's a different energy. And it's not just Curry who's been vocal about her impact. Gilbert Arenas, another name basketball fans respect, weighed in on why Clark is making waves in a way that previous WNBA talents hadn't. 
He explained that while other talented women have come through the league, none of them generated the same excitement. Arenas pointed out, I don't think the, the league itself was built for it because more talented girls has came through. Bigger, Duncan. Dun yeah, yeah, but it didn't, did, no one gravitated to it, right? And I think the success is Steph Curry too. Steph Curry shooting and this and that helped. So now you got somebody who's shooting like a man from that is exciting. And this is just the beginning. With so much ahead, who knows how far CC will go or how much she'll redefine the game we love.